Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the string built-in function. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how we create a string using single quotes, um, double quotes, triple quotes. Now, we're going to look at the string built-in function. What that would be allow us to do is uh, change integers or... Um, floating point numbers or something like that into a string. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Um, this is a, a good tool to have. Uh, say you want to go ahead and bring a integer into a string type. So first off, since we haven't talked about integers yet, let's go ahead and take a look at what an integer is. Notice that we don't have quotes around this. So this is an integer. It doesn't have a dot followed by something, so it's not a floating point number, so it's an integer, so a number, all right? So if I call A, I get one, all right? So now if I go string, str, uh, parentheses, A, and close out my parentheses, and now I have the string built-in function, I'm saying, hey, convert this number one into a string. So I hit return, and there you go. Now I'm surrounded by quotes. Now this number one is treated as a string. How can we look at this a little bit further? We can go uh, type A like that. And we got class integer. All right. Notice I didn't um, uh, assign A to represent whatever string A was. All right. So that's why I'm still getting integer. Now if I go ahead and do type str A like this, now I'm going to return string. All right, um, so just so you guys aren't confused here, what's going on? Uh, right here I got A, all right, that's one, and then I'm, A is representing one up here, if you notice the, the um, assignment operator up here. All right, and then I'm calling a string function. Now I'm converting this to a string, correct? All right, because that's what the str parentheses inside there uh, function does build in function and now I'm using the type build in function on that to return the class where what class does it what class um, is this object belong to and it's returning string str right um, if I didn't call the str on it like I did up here if I didn't call it there I get integer all right so this is what the string does it allows us to convert it now <clears throat> notice I'm calling str right here on a if I call A again, it's going to be one, or I should go type A so you can see what type it is. It's an integer. Now, I'm not actually um, saving A to represent a string. That's what I'm trying to get to you guys. So if I do A is equal to str A, all right, so the building function on A, and now A is going to represent whatever that returns. Now I call A, I got one. If I do type Oops, A, like that, I got a string. So there you go. There's a string built-in function, all right, converting uh, uh, other objects to strings and also a little lesson on if we don't assign it, how is it going to operate our function, all right? So see you next tutorial. 